Hello my lovelies, I am straight back on with the swatches. I am going to be using their Mega Stamper Unprimed. I'm going to be using my Creative Shop Scraper and my Bow Beauty Black. Just going to swatch randomly. Oh, these are nicely etched too. Oh, wow. That is picking up. Amazing. Oh, those stars. Those horrible stars are back. So I'm going to do a couple of swatches of each one. With my creative shop. That's not swatched. That's straight out of the packet. And I'll show you the swatches in a minute. Yeah, I'll have to pause it. <laughs> As you can see, I already started swatching and I hadn't pushed record. So I'm just going to clean that off. And we're going to start again. So this is the 101. Stamping with my the Mega Stamper, which is an amazing stamper. Um, and my Bow Beauty nail polish. Two dollar nail polish. This nail polish is. And I've got my Creative Shop scraper. Oh wow. It looks so pretty. Um, I'll probably show you the swatches towards the end so I don't have to pick up and put down the um, paper. Wow, the stamp is cool. Well, that's 101 down that end. I'll do a couple of each plate. Just gonna give it a quick clean up. Um, oh my god. Of course they're out of sequins. Okay. Now we're on 102. This one has got that big flower in the middle. So we're gonna pick up as much of that big flower as we can. Oh wow. Oh my god. I'm still going to pick it up. Just so I can prove that it picks up. But that was me dropping the stamp on it. So we will do that again. Oh wow. That's really pretty. It's got really fine, um, really fine lines in the details. That's the one thing I didn't like about my... I got some Sissy and, Sissy and Cece, I think they're called, plates. I didn't like them. That's the one I'm going to pick up off that plate, because that's the prettiest design on it, in my opinion. One o three, And that's just their career driver. Just dropping off some more stuff at my house. Wow. I might just do one stamp from each plate. Because the plates are kind of small. One of these, one pick up with these mega stampers, is almost picking up the whole plate. So let's just do that way, shall we? This is 104. I get asked all the time about why I have dupes on my channel. A lot of it is sometimes the exchange rate's not very good. Oh my god. 
God. Sorry, guys, that's me. I have um, rheumatoid arthritis in my hands, so I don't have a very good grip on things. And these, um, even though this is better than the Creative Shop Stamper holder, it's still a bit slippery. So I'll do that one again. Move my trusty peg out of the way. Yeah, I get asked about dupes quite often. And a lot of it is um, the free shipping. I like the free shipping. Um, yeah, that's, that's just giving cheaper alternatives to people that don't have a lot of money. So that was a 105. Actually, I might do that one down the bottom. These, the detail on these are really fine, which is really quite nice. Let's have a look at that. Oh, look at that. Gosh. 106. And this is the one that my son, son thought it was a nautical theme, but I don't think it is. It's got sprogs and stuff like that. Okay, that one didn't pick up very well. It might be because the detailing's a lot finer. Um, I might get up my Conad black to give it a better, to see if it does any better. So this is just my Conad black. I don't really use this Conad very often. I've got like three of them. I tend to use that Bow Beauty more because it doesn't smear when you pick it up, uh, top coat it. So that picked up a little better. There's still some missing. So let's try that again. I might try my Creative Shop Stamper and see if that helps. So that's the only plate so far we've had problems with. But it's okay. I'm going to swap out to my Creative Shop Stamper. And this one's still with Conad. Yeah, did a little bit better. Not much. Oh, it didn't stamp off. So maybe it's etched really shallow. And, oh god, sorry guys. You've got to be really quick. That's what I'm thinking. Let's try my marshmallow stamper. Oh my god. My polish just wants to fall over the place today. So this is just my cheapy eBay marshmallow stamper. Um, I'm going to use the Conad again. Quickly, I picked it up. And I'm going to stamp it off really quickly. And it's stamped. So that one there, you just have to be a little bit more quick. Quicker with it. Might see if I can pick it up with the Conad. With the stamper. did it again but however you've just got to be a bit bit, bit quicker with it I'm just looking at some of the stamps some of the 05 was a bit shallow on the outside when it picked up but I don't care it's still nice okay we're going on to 07 now and we're back to Bow Beauty and the Mega Stamper again Yeah, it's doing it. Maybe I'm not stamping properly. Maybe I'm not supposed to roll it. It may be me. Because my little uh, um, eBay stamper picks it up amazingly well. So I'm going to try the push. The push. 
push down technique and stop rolling. That's it. Don't roll it, push it down. So it's me. Let's get that last one back. You don't roll it. So you don't roll it like a creative shop stamper. You push it straight down. So I'll show you again. Push it down. Oh, okay. So there's absolutely nothing wrong. It was me. Just got to learn a new technique with these. Now I want to try this flower over here on the side. So I'm going to try and pick that up. And remember to push it down. So you push it down. That's pretty cool. That picked up really well too. Right, we're up to 08. 108. Let's just go anywhere on here. They have got some really pretty designs on these plates, I must admit. These are right up my alleyway. So if you don't roll it when you stamp it down too, if you just push it straight down, it stamps really nice. So I'm going to go on this side. I know I said I was only going to do one from each plate, but they're just so pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, what are we up to? Oh nine. Gosh, look at the big mess I've got. Stamping is messy, especially when you're using black. That one's etched really well. No, it didn't pick up very well that one. Let's try that again. Let's turn our swatch paper around. <coughs> okay. I'm going to try that one again. And this one could be the direction of the... Um, I might go from... I might go on an angle this way. It might be the way it's etched as well. So... We're going to try this way, and if it's not that, uh, picked up okay, not overly good. Let's try it from a different angle, and let's try to not scrape it as hard this time. Mm, just be a lot more gentler, and then didn't pick up. Mm, that's what it picked up. <laughs> Let's try the eBay stamper. It could be just me and this stamper because the stamper's only new. So don't don't think it's these beautiful plates. It's just me and this new stamper. Okay. Let's try from this way. Yeah, see, it's me and the stamper. That picked up amazingly well. Even though I gas bagged too much and it didn't stamp off, but it picked up. Oh, wow. Really well, too. Let's do that again, but I won't show you guys. I'll just stamp it straight down because it's drying too fast. And off. Yes, that picked up really well. I'll do a couple because I'm using the little my little eBay stamper. Let's try this side. Wow. So we've got one more plate to go. Yeah, it's itched really well. It's just me and the, the, the stamper. I've just got to get my get used to it. Okay, we're going to swap back to the Mega Stamper. Wow. I 
hey, I did notice that that one's not as, some of it's not as deeply etched as this one. So maybe that's got something to do with it. But if you've got 50 million stampers like I do, <laughs> it's not going to really matter. Wow. I think I could stamp all day to tell you the truth. Alright, I'm just going to do this pretty flower. Oh, sorry guys. My handy dandy pegs playing. Oh, I just squirted acetone everywhere. Good on ya. Just want to pick up that pretty flower while I'm here. Now there is one on here and I can see it. It's 105. 106, 107. I just noticed on the swatches it's not as yeah the um swatches of it aren't as good as the other ones. It didn't pick up as well, so I'm gonna clean it off as best I can. I need to swap that out. Um, and come in with my eBay stamper, I think, just to give it a, you know, better chance. So, that's what we're going to do, guys. Yeah, see, it's picking up amazing. So, the more intricate, detailed ones, um, I'll just swap out my stamper. until I get my, I've got to get, you know, you got to, you can't just pick up a new stamper and be amazing at it, you've got to work with it and learn how to use it, so, apart from having black nail polish everywhere, here are our swatches, so that's that 105 I just done again, over here, that was the other 105s I did. But, look at that, oh my god, I'll just flip it around, look at those, amazing, so yeah, my 105 and my 109, I just noticed that a bit more delicate details in it, I'll need to swap out my stamp for. See this one here I didn't have problems with. Oh, but the lines are a lot more thicker than that one. So anyway, ladies, that's my swatch and my big mess. <laughs> but that's my swatches of my Shangri-La stamp and my uh, Shangri-La stamping plates and my little review of this. This is a really good stamper, though. That's not primed or nothing. That's straight out of the packet. Stamping. I mean, I really like that stamper. It's actually a little bit easier to use than the um, than my um, Creative Shop. I like my Creative Shop stamper though. I do. Not as much as I love my little eBay um, stamper. The funny thing is, this one here, two dollars. That's two dollars Australian. This one here cost me about 29 with postage. Ah, oh, that's without postage. That's my creative shop. And this one here, two stampers for $9. I mean, <sighs> so yeah. I'm going to leave the links for everything in the description bar. And I will be back. Bye, ladies.